Hello people, welcome to this video dedicated to the fast and slow motion effect in Sony Vegas Pro 13. Please leave feedbacks in comments to improve our videos. The fast and the slow motion effects consist in changing the playing speed of a video clip, making it faster or slower. Obviously, this is going to change also the duration of the clip itself. The faster it is played, the shorter it will last, unless you loop it over and over. There are two ways to apply this effect. If you right click on a video clip and go to insert, remove envelope and then to velocity, a green envelope line will appear. If you pull it up or down, you will change its speed, as the percentage says in the white dialog box. In this way, you will keep the length of the video clip constant, although it will be looped if the speed is faster than the original one, as the grey triangles do appear. Plus, you can change the playing speed in time, for example to apply slow motion first and then fast motion in the end. In fact, this envelope line is fully customizable. If you double click on a point in the envelope line, a square appears. Each square fixes a determined value for the clip's velocity where the point is placed, so you can create speed fades in case you place two points on different levels. You can also check the fade curve that is shown on the clip. There is full freedom. Dread the points to change their placement in time or the velocity value they must fix. To delete a point, simply right click on it and go to delete. You can also drag points of the curves just created. This way is great in case you want to play a clip with variable playing speeds, but in case you want to apply a simple slow or fast motion where the speed is fixed, it is better to trim the clip, dragging its edges holding CTRL down, so you can apply fast motion if you stretch the clip, and slow motion if you elongate. it. Loops are never applied in this case. If you are not interested in changing the playing speed of single clips but of the whole video project, you can use the rate bar in the bottom left corner. While you play the project, you can drag the grey arrows to change the playing speed live. Negative values mean reversing the playing speed, as with a reverse effect. 1 means original speed, 2 double speed, and so on. However, the grey arrows don't change the playing speed definitely. You must dread the orange triangle to do that for good. Even after changing the playing speed, the effect may seem awful, especially if it's too slow or fast respect to the original speed. To make it more realistic, you need to apply some motion blur on it. Just go to view and then to video bus track. This is the master track of all video tracks you have in your project. Anything applied on this track will affect all video tracks above. Right click on the master track, go to remove insert envelope and then to motion blur amount. A pink envelope line appears and works just like the velocity line seen before through points. The more you pull up the line, 
the more blur you apply. If you check your rendered project before and after the motion blur, you will see that for both fast or slow motion effects, things improved a lot with a more realistic view. Plus, through the points, you can also decide when to apply motion blur, pulling down the line when you don't need it in other static clips. Mind that the motion blur is an advanced effect. Your rendering speed may be reduced significantly. Thanks for watching this video. Check the following ones to discover more about Sony Vegas Pro 13.